Hello everybody. Happy Friday. If it's Friday, we are rambling. Rambling. We got some pretty good rambles going on today in my ramble feed. Um, I got my Detroit-ish t-shirt on. So yeah, we can talk about cars. We can talk about Mr. Pumpkinhead going to the Detroit Economic Forum. What? What did he say? <laughs> Let's vote for this guy. He good. He's a good guy to vote for. Yeah, yeah. All right. That was my hillbilly impersonation. Okay. Um, first off, the hurricane down in Florida. The hurricanes down in Florida. Um, we can send prayers. We can do that. If you have the ability to send some funds, um, I encourage that. Um, make sure you go to the right place. Uh, World Central Kitchen is down there, and I'm liking them so far. Ch Chef, Chef Jose. Um, but do your own research on this. Tons of scammers are going to come out. Tons and tons and tons of scammers. And I think Donald Trump lives in Florida. So be careful of that. Oh, did you see he's got a new ad out where he is um, saying that he's against abortion, that the abortion ban in Florida is too long, and I've always said so, and blah, 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 blah. All right. Getting back to the hurricane. Um there's also going to be some earthquakes in the, the U.S. I was looking at Dutch Scene, and we can see that. Um, he's got this website where he says he has earthquake predictions. It's, it's pretty cool for uh, if you just want to geek out to some weird stuff. It's kind of cool. Um, He's got some conspiracy theories going on, which, you know, I'm okay with, as long as it's not about, you know, just completely destroying everything, which an earthquake may do. But getting back to it, sorry, um, that was a ramble. Um, he's talking about all the plates. He's talking about all the drill points for oil, how that, how earthquakes follow the drill points. I don't know. Talks about all the plates, radio waves, blah, 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 blah. The bottom line is be prepared. And I say this all the time. Um, and I was talking to my friend down in, in L.A. And he goes, yeah, you talk about this. And I was looking around. I don't, I don't have any of the stuff that you talked about. And I thought I did. So just double check your provisions. Double check. Right now, all my water, my spare water, is empty. Empty. So if something were to happen right now, where would I get my water from? Well, hopefully I would have the sound mind, which I probably wouldn't. Well, why start now? To shut off my water tank so more water wouldn't get in there. Just turn off the water, then I can use that um, water from the water tank. Now, if you have a tankless water heater, you don't have that water. So um, I will fill up my little um, jugs, but I just came back from a trip, so I'm cleaning them all out. But still, got to think of this stuff. First aid kits, medicines, pet food. All right. Um, I was looking at Steve Judd the other day, too, and oh, yeah, yeah, doom and gloom. And then he goes, but I'm a happy person. I, I'd i like to look at the light side of things. I go, wait a minute. I thought you were giving light workers a, a bad name. I like Steve. Uh, he's he's <laughs> He cracks me up. <laughs> Anyway, he's talking about all the things going on in October, that it's going to be really, 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 really hard for us. So he's talking about getting into nature.
putting your hands in the, into the ground, grounding yourself, turning off the news. Good on him. I've been saying that for a while. I've been trying to do that. I'm not as caught up as some of these other readers. And I don't know. I think it's happy. I think I'm happier, not than other readers, but I think I'm happier than my when I dig into it too much. We'll see how I'm doing. We'll see how I'm doing after this reading. All right, let's get into some energy. Uh, I want to use my Galactic Heritage deck, and I want to see what is the energy that we're facing in October. Um, you know, I hear that. I hear the astrology. I hear that it's like cray cray. Um, it's going to be brutal. The new cycles, um, more wars. And when I was writing some of this out, I also want to read on Netanyahu because I got to hit that something's not. Well, we know something's not right with him. But um, is some is he on his way out? I mean, he can't leave soon enough, in my opinion. My opinion. Did I say it's uh, entertainment only? No, I did now. It's entertainment only. Speaking of entertainment, say hello to Psychic Duck. What's up, Psychic Duck? <laughs> he was... He just gave some, he gave me a little insight on one of y'all. I'm like, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. One of you is crazy. I didn't know that. <laughs> crazy in a good way. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, here we go. What does the Galactic Heritage Deck have to say? Oh, two cards. Yikes. Oh. Yikes. Two cards popped up um, right away. And we got the Errant Arrogance card and the Deep Polarity. I don't know, is he talking about me being too arrogant? Um, but this deep polarity, it, it, this feels like where we are right now. We have an arrogance that we are right. It's only us. Now, I happen to think that we are right. The cards say, yeah, maybe not. There is a deep polarity that is dividing the country. But in reality, once we learn how to work together with our polarities, allowing that side and this side to come together and to work for a common good, and what's the common good? That we're all connected. Okay, let's keep going with this. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a mental transformation. It's not really us versus them. It's just a, a little mental transformation of letting go of this arrogance of this, I am right. Mm -hmm. Okay, yikes. See, I should stop pulling cards because the, the more that I pull cards, then the more confusion I have, these are the two cards I got, homing beacon and confusion. It feels like with these cards that we're missing, um, we're missing the point of how to get home into unity consciousness. There's a lot of confusion about it. Certainly, um, certainly the, the, the church. There's a new Netflix show on called, uh, uh, it, it's a remake of Robin Hood. And I started watching it last night. My wife goes, oh my God, this is way too violent. But it talks about the church back in those days. And he, 
the way that they portray the church, it's just, I'm like, oh my God, this is like a P. Diddy party. Cray. Now, I've only been to a P. Diddy party once, so I really can't say. I haven't. I haven't. Um, the last card, self-sacrifice. I'm going to pull some cards on this self-sacrifice, because what does that self-sacrifice mean? Does it mean not saying something? No, I don't think so. Um, does it mean not digging your heels in? Does it mean um, getting out there and putting your, your, I mean, like when we, there, when I grew up, there was a lot of Vietnam protests. There was a lot of women's rights protests. There were a lot of, um, there were a lot of protests. There were a lot of, which has the better muscle car? Corvette? Mustang. Which is better? Which is the better Detroit engine? The 308 or the 327? Diana knows what I'm talking about. That's who Psychic Duck was talking about, Diana. Oh, she's she's gonna get me. All right, all right, all right. Moving on. Self sacrifice. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What is this self sacrifice? Three cards. One of these cards is gonna really resonate with you. One of them may not resonate with you. All right. All right. We have the Six of Wands. Um, success, winning. Yay. Um, six of Wands. It's like coming in as a winner. So what is this self-sacrifice? Winners and losers. The arrogance. I need to win. Always a winner. Winners and losers are deep polarity, you know. And and I hear um, when when people say we're giving um, awards out to all the participants, and I hear some of um, my more stuck in the in the ground people. Um, no, you got to have a winner. That's what this is about. Winning. Um, it, it's not. It's about sportsmanship. It's about playing the game. It's, yeah, you're going to, somebody's going to win, somebody's going to lose, but it doesn't really mean, you know, it, it doesn't have to be extreme. It doesn't have to be that deep polarity. I worked with the, it was a long time ago, um, the um, Special Olympics and they, they didn't, everybody got a prize. Everybody got a medal. And everybody was so thrilled. It was like, sometimes we just need to let go of that arrogance. Maybe we need to be more simple. Okay, here we go. Um, winners. Yay, riding in as a winner. Maybe, we, maybe that's the self-sacrifice. There is no winner. We're not going to win. We're not going to lose. We're going to be in a better place of unity. And then we have the Knight of so Queen of Swords. This woman, she's not moving. Uh, what is the self-sacrifice of the Queen of Swords? She's not using the sword. She's thinking, she's thinking of a, a different way of of moving, a different way of being the queen of swords. She's pondering things. Um, she's, and so she has up here, it looks, it could be a raven, but it looks, um, could be a hawk or an eagle too. 
And it either way, it feels like it's wind. It's earth. I mean, it, it's uh, bird energy, wind energy, eagle energy, um, where something new is going to be coming in. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, self-sacrifice Knight of Pentacles. Um, this could be... Um, as you walk along, you kind of uh, leave behind some, some I don't know, um, money, financial things. It's not hanging on to it. It's not the four of pentacles. Hmm. Knight, of, knight of pentacles, slow moving knight that gets things done, but it's a slow mover. It's a slow mover. Self-sacrifice. Maybe we want things right now. Maybe that's what it is. All right. Um, let's get into the news. Let's get into the news. Um, yikes, 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 yikes. Um, where am I? World according to astrology, energy pull. Oh, let's pull on Netanyahu. Something's up with him. Something is up with Netanyahu. I'm going to use a different deck. I'm going to use my World Tarot deck. What is up with Netanyahu? It felt like, when I was reading on this, it felt like something was going to... something was that he was on his way out something was going to happen to him not that I want to wish any harm on anybody I leave that up to their their plan what they have to teach us and I see all this war and all this stuff this is a time where we get to go enough we've had enough and we come to a oneness. And if we don't, and maybe the world is going to split into two, like some people say, where there's a higher vibration and a lower vibration. And just as we have to get to a certain vibration to see our galactic friends, to see spirit, um, maybe we're just going to not see these lower vibrational um Humanoids. Is, is that it? Feels like it. Wouldn't doubt it. Psychic Duck, you got a thought on that? <laughs> He's laughing. Do I have a thought on that? He says. He says I'm right. All right. You're right. All right. Right? Here we go. Netanyahu. Psychic Duck, you have anything you want to say about Netanyahu? No. Okay. Netanyahu. The path for Netanyahu to the end of the year. The path for Netanyahu. So when I think of Netanyahu and Kamala Harris, whoa, he is not. He is not going to be happy with her. He is not going to be happy what she is going to say about this. And I think she's walking a tightrope now with Joe Biden and what the current administration is doing. But that is, that's slipping away. She's getting a more solid footing um, as, as her own leader as she moves on. So she's stepping off that type rope. And it's, it's not uh, against Joe Biden. It's just he's doing his thing. This is his administration. This is probably going to be my administration. Well, it is going to be her administration. But I don't think she's really given everything that she needs, uh, information that she needs to give. I saw her on Stephen Colbert. That's, what, what a delight. 
What a delight. And, and trust me, I would not want to be going against her. Ever. Oh my God, she... But you want to be on her side. You don't want to be her enemy. Versus the other guy who doesn't have any likability. And that's, you know, that's not true. Um, but anyway, Netanyahu, Netanyahu. He's, he's getting tied up and not in a good way. Um, he is, he's being really restricted. What is going on? Page of Wands. Um, hmm. It's got some new information. There's some, some news coming out. He's going to have to defend himself. A lot of battling going on. There's some kind of union coming up, too, in the government. Yeah, they have... Yeah, there is... Whew, there's a big review coming up. There's a big loss of finances, too. Um, and I know he's being indicted by um, quite a yes. That's it. Something just dropped my microphone. Okay, I'm back. Dropped my microphone. Um, so where was I? Where was I? There, there, there's a lot of internal struggle going on. Um, and when I pulled this Five of Pentacles, I also got a Seven of Pentacles, and I'm going, he's going to make a big decision, um, and it he, he's not quite sure where to go. Um, but there's financial review, there's financial loss, there's this, and, and in this card too, I also say it's a, a moral loss, because they could go into the church. These these beat up homeless people, down on, down on their luck. They can go into the church and get warm. They don't. So it's my moral bankruptcy card. However, internally and externally, internally he's got the Hierophant, externally he's got the Page of Wands. I think somebody is looking at his finances, his um, the government is looking at his finances. There's a lot of battling. There is some. There is also some um, support that he has from somebody else. And it, is it? Is it Trump? Is is he the support? Is that what's keeping him there? Why is Netanyahu? Why is Netanyahu still there? Why is he staying in power? Well, number one, he keeps creating more wars. And so as soon as those wars are over, then he's he's gone. But let's see, why is Netanyahu still there? And I got a lot of fighting cards. I got a lot of verbal fighting. I got a lot of winning at any cost. I got the two five, five of wands, five of uh, swords. So, I mean, he, it's for him, it's all about the fight. Why is Netanyahu able to stay in power? Nine of wands. The battle, defending oneself. Eight of Swords, wrapped up. He's got a new start coming. I, I think that something's going to happen. Um, I, th I think the government is is getting tired of, of the expansion of this war. 
there's certain people that are just going enough. Is Netanyahu going to be overthrown? Is his government going to kick Netanyahu out? What do we need to know about the Israeli government removing Netanyahu from power? What do we need to know about the Israeli government removing Net? Oh. Okay. I don't know if these cards make any sense. Somebody gets stabbed in the. I'm joking. Somebody gets stabbed in the back. We have the Knight of Wands coming in, maybe bring in some new information, a new way. And then we have the Tower moment. Something big is going to happen to him where I think he's going to be replaced. So, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's move on. 25 minutes. All right. Um, oh, hear me. Rambling. Rambling. Here I am. I have my rambling notes with me. Uh, we got to talk about... Um, so here's... I, I, I don't have much time left. I've got another appointment. Let's... Um, maybe there'll be two videos that I'll put up. Let's take a look at two rambles in one day. Lodi. I can't take it. Um, let's take a look at... Since I have my Detroit shirt on, and then I'm going to look at Kamala Harris. Um, I'm going to look at Mr. Pumpkinhead. He was at the Detroit Economic Forum, and he started talking about if Kamala Harris gets elected, this country is going to be a mess. It's going to be like Detroit, a shithole. Oh, did I say that? He didn't say that. It slipped out. Sorry. Um, he said the Detroit Economic Forum saying that Detroit is is a mess. It's horrible. The people that live in Detroit, they know they know they got issues. Did this get any? Uh, did this get any uh, swing voters? Now the the auto union head got came on and he goes under Trump's presidency factories closed inflation went up our debt went up and he just listed a bunch of failures Kamala Harris was on Stephen Colbert and she goes Failure, 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 failure. What does that make you? A loser. I wish she would have done this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Loser. All right. Three cards. Did that get him any? Did that? Did he win or did he lose any independence? I'm hurting. I'm hearing that he lost. Um, that he lost Republican voters. <laughs> yes. What? What? What the hell are you talking about? Former convicted guy. Oh, he's so underwater. The moon card. He is so underwater. Secrets coming up. He's like a little crazy. Howling at the moon. Um, yeah. They're looking at other things. They're looking at other options. Trump is not, it's not helping himself. Okay. It's not helping. All right. Let's go on to... I want to... Um, I want to look at...